So we had a, a distinct and wonderful uh, ghetto night every summer. And uh, that was a very powerful uh, experience for our camp. Very powerful. I mean, it's, uh, you know, looking back, you know, my children never went through it, you know, and I, I don't know that it was common to the camps, in general to the summer camps of the 60s, because uh, in many of the summer camps it just wasn't, it wasn't important, because at the time it was more important to celebrate Israel and to move away from the, uh, the shtetl and the ghetto and the, you know, the, the, those sad days. So, but our um, ghetto nights were very graphic, very poetic, very musical. We had Daniel Liebeskind designed a mosaic of a ghetto fighter with a rifle held above his head. And that mosaic was, uh, was put at a uh, location in a field uh, called the Ghetto Denkmo, the, the memorial spot. And on Ghetto Day, we would have an Ehrenwach, uh, an honor guard of two teenagers uh, standing uh, in their blue shirts, blue shorts, and red uh, cravats. Uh, the, the, um, that was the old socialist uh, youth uniform um, in silence at the uh, on both sides of the Denk Mall. And children uh, would walk, not organized, but uh, individually and in groups all day would pass by and stand in silent reverence. The, um, the uh, evening would uh, begin with, uh, you know, um, a Chavashach Fazamlung, which was our daily uh, gathering where we heard news and announcements. We would stand in a ches at the Chavashach Platz, and uh, the camp director would, uh, would make announcements. But the evening for ghetto uh, night would begin at the Chavashach Fazamlung. We'd walk quietly into uh, the casino where there was a very uh, beautiful program of ghetto songs and poems and narrations and, uh, and drama uh, that uh, told the story of the, uh, of the resistance, which, which we, were, um, uh, we felt important to, to uh, emphasize, but also the, the story of the tragedy of, of the Holocaust. So, um, so this is how the children of Camp Hemshech grew up. This is how they bonded. Um, I can say that at the end of these events, there was sobbing, there was hugging, there was, but it was cathartic and so important. And uh, it was uh, it was kind of the embodiment of what the um, founders of the camp wanted to happen. To, uh, to have a, a, a connection between uh, their generation and the next generation. And uh, that connection was very powerful in Camp Amshaw. Uh, 